and obviously if you need some help then you can go to rubydoc.org it has everything that you need it has all the documents it it also suggests you some books like the programming ruby the ruby way learn to program with ruby it even gives you some articles or links which are very important and obviously if you have some queries you can uh you can actually put them on the comment section. I'll be posting all these links on the description below, so check them out. And if you're interested about one of the other thing or the modular approach that Ruby takes, you can check out rubygems.org. You can get all those gems in here. They're very easy to install. But rather than going to the gems, you should go into this rubydoc.org if you are a beginner, and hence, Go to these articles. You can read them. There are several uh, links in which you, you will you will come across examples. You can work with those examples. You can recreate those examples using your own skills. So let's get started. The first thing that we are going to look at is we are going to create a global variable. So suppose I want to print my name on the screen. I created this file, which is the functions.rb or the Ruby file. Now, if you're using a Mac like me, or if you're using a Linux system, or suppose you're using an Ubuntu system, then you will get the Ruby version uh, very easily. You just need to open up the terminal. If you're using the app channel just like me, the app channel studio will give you the terminal built inside it. So just write Ruby version. It will give you the Ruby version, and this will also tell you that Ruby is uh, Ruby is installed on your system. So if you're on a Mac and or if you're on a Ubuntu system, you don't have to worry about installing the uh, Ruby packages. It's already pre-installed. The next thing is that you will have to create a file. Now create a folder. I created a folder called test. I'm going to test all my codes on this folder. I'm going to create this scripts. And hence, when you create the folder like this, if you want to create it, right click on a specified folder on your system and then go to new, you'll get a folder and just place the name and click OK. It will create an uh, empty folder for you. And then the next step is to create a Ruby script. So right click again on the folder or on the newly created folder, it will be empty for you. Then right click on it, then you will get something like new from template head over to something called Ruby and this will give you and uh, this will prompt you to a window and just name the file as you like it I have named it as functions.rb then click finish and it will give you a new file so remember to actually navigate to your own folder where you have you are going to place all the scripts I have placed my folder inside test so if you have Place your folder in a different uh, in a different location. You need to go to uh, you need to use the command. You need to use the terminal to navigate over to your folder. How do you do that? Suppose you're sitting inside the root. Let me show you. 